Ford Field welcomes us for this matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Detroit Lions. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them. Really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. They're setting up the return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Offense lines up here. Bush. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The defense comes out of the dime. Second down and 12. The handoff to Reggie Bush. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Uh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. Third and 17. And they bring down the quarterback. And it's a three and out for the offense. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up a sack early in the game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up a sack. They'll turn it over on downs. It's often the difference maker in any game, and that is how you perform inside the red zone, and we're getting an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. First down coming up. Play fake here, challenging the defenders to the right side, makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all in this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Count it. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Got a chance to return this one. <laughs> Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Intercepted. They've got him down there. What a tough start for the quarterback. An early interception. Uh, the worst thing you can do as a quarterback, but I'm giving the defense here a lot of credit. They diagnosed the play. They took advantage of the quarterback, and they got the interception. First down on the way. Griffin's got the football after the play fake. Washington in the end zone. Touchdown. When you got a lead and you march down the field and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Redskins ready for action. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and 
My guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. The Redskins go with the dime formation here on defense. Inaccurate with that one. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shock. It's incomplete. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver is going to catch it and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. They come out in the dime package. Third and ten. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Burleson is going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They pounce on him there. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. To the ground here. He's headed right up ahead for about four. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second and six. Throws to the right. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback. Going through his progression, he finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Tackled at the 13th. Moss is in the slot. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Yeah, the draw play, it's been around forever, and it is still a valuable asset to all offenses. Make the defense think past. You hand it off, you get them retreating, and you can pick up a few extra yards. And this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. and one looking for a receiver on the left side here oh that could have been intercepted but he couldn't hold on you are not going to be an accurate quarterback of course when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure doesn't even have time to set his feet another throw offline moss is lined up now as a slot receiver rg3 from the gun They'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. The Lions go with two tight ends on this play. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Defense comes out of the nickel. 
Titans, second down and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. Detroit in the end zone. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Ryan set to kick it. The Lions defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Young's got it on the toss. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. Now first and ten. Tossing it to the running back. Ezekiel Anza is in there and makes the play. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. On second and one. Getting away from the pressure. That catch will extend the drive. He steps out. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. First and 10, looking for an open receiver on the right. Down to the 15. Whoa. Nice job by the receiver. Runs the curl route that time. Curl it is exactly what it says. Go down the field, make a little curl motion. Quarterback throws it in there. This play set up by the long gainer. Griffin's going back to the air on this play. He has the grab. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Lines up here. Young's going to secure the football on the toss. Jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. How about that? The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking, gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that to the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And he begins his return. Spins away from the tackle. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Burleson's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Running to his right. An up tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is... You run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Watch the glitch, watch the glitch. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and one. Looking to the right side and throwing. No room to complete that one. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. Burleson's a receiver in the slot. On the spot. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. 
Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Going to take off with it. Challenging the defenders to the right side. You got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. Offense lines up here. Third and two. Looking across the middle, Stafford over to Madden 13 cover man, Calvin Johnson. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass, and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. The Lions still driving as the second quarter gets underway. On first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Games 16. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First and 10. Eyeing that left side. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Second down. Throws the pass. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. This long drive continues. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Offense lines up here. Throws to the right. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Boy, the offense looks like they were rolling, just going down the field. Beautiful drive. Their confidence is up, and what do they do? They choke in the big moment, and they do not pick up the fourth down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Griffin still has it after some nifty intercepted. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? Now in first down. Incompletion on that hurry throw. The Redskins with two extra defensive backs in the dime on second and ten. Matthew Stafford looking long. The pass fails to find the mark. Burleson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Slips right to his fingertips. Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Long ball to Calvin Johnson. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Moss is in the slot. First and ten. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Alfred Morris had a great rookie year for the Washington Redskins. 
What a surprise he was to the whole NFL with his speed and power. He made big plays. Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. First down and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. A lot on this throw, and Santana Moss brings it in. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. Looking to go up top again on first down. They're going to get him here for a sack. And the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. The action looks to his left. And he's intercepted. Unstoppable. He's into the open. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Good piece of tackle. So that was an awesome job by the defense. He just read the quarterback size. They got in position and they made the interception. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. Lining up now for the two. Two points on the board as they convert. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Breaks out of that one. to get set. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if you can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. RG3 has it under center. Second attempt. Here's the quick toss to the running back. Gets past the first wave. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Secures it with two hands. in for the score. I think it's something that's not said enough. You got to be a pretty tough guy at that quarterback position to play in this league. That time he takes the hit, but he still throws that pass. And how about that? Right on target for a touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. He gets the toss. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Reaches out and snatches it. The Lions now move the chains. 
the quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Challenging the defenders to the right side with a 35. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 17. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. That reception gave them the first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning. They face first down. Throws to the right. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Got to make that play. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Third down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Well, when you see a throw that bad, there's a couple things that can happen. Maybe a defensive player flashed in front of him, or maybe the quarterback just lost control of the football. Burleson is lined up in the slot. Running back in motion here. Touchdown and drawing close. That's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. So, put down the touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The receiving team has the recovery. down here will go ground middle and a good gainer Let's give him nine rg3 has it under center as they go ground here that'll stop the play right there it's a mindset it's a culture that's what you got to create when you talk about running the football and when you get it going the right way you can grind the defense up Another first down for this offense running the football. And Morris is taking the handoff. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and ten. Scrambling out of the pocket. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. And they overcome the sack. Third down on the way. They're setting up screen. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The Redskins lined up. Everybody split out wide. Down the field. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Fourth and long. You got so little chance of having success in a situation like this. I only have one question. 
Why did you go for it? Offense lines up here. The running back goes in motion. First attempt. Stafford gets it out to Brandon Pettigrew. The Lions have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. They've got a first down now after that catch. Matthew Stafford looked good for in for the touchdown. You see it so often now. If the receiver's not open, just throw it high, let him go up in the air, jump and make the catch. That's what we saw here. Nice, nice touchdown. The Redskins ready to return the kick. He'll have to accept the touchback. Split backfield here. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Intercepted! That brings the play to an end. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Long ball to Calvin Johnson. What a catch. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots, and then it helps when you receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. Lions set to kick it. <laughs> Nowhere else to go and he's out of bounds. Morris lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Screen pass. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. RG3 has it under center. Second and 12. Working that left side. And gains 12. The Redskins call a timeout and are left now with only one. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. One more snap and we'll head to halftime. First and 10. Griffin over to Josh Morgan. So that's going to do it for the first half. Lions are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Lions lead by 14. Danielle Bellini is there with the latest from the sidelines. Guys, I spoke with head coach Jim Schwartz during halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're doing a good job repeating what we did in practice. We've come out and look confident in what we're doing, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now they've just got to do it for another half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. First down, offense ready for the snap. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Shrugs off the first hit. What an impressive gain by Morris. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it, 
The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. First down here after the run. And they go back to the ground. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. This will be second down. He'll fire it out to the left. Griffin over to Josh Morgan. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. And that's Stephen Tummock who brings him down. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to him. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they pass. He's in for the touchdown. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score, they did that. Now, the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. The Redskins lined up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. And he'll start his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Makes the catch. The Lions now move the chains. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First down here after the completion. First and ten. Bush is going to receive the toss. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. A foot race to the end zone. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Redskins official. The staff wasn't saying much about the injury other than it's not severe enough to keep him out of this one. So, so expect to see him back on the field the shortly, bus. guys. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Redskins team official. Ryan Rackpo's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. And Morris is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Action fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. A takeaway. In on the stop. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful. Because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. Quarters formation here for the defense.
first and ten. Going across the middle, inhales the pass. Running backs are such a big part of the pass game now in the NFL. Look at this play, able to take a short catch and get a long gain out of it. Nice job by the running back. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Stafford's going to throw once again on this down. Incomplete. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Two tight ends on the field here. Challenging the defenders to the right side, right where it had to be. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happened. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Second and goal at the one. They hand takes it across and he's in for the touchdown. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive, they take risks. The Redskins ready to return the kick. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the quick toss. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He is tackled right at the 50. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second and 13. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Allen for 46 yards. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? First down, following the long play. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury. And uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. It's now second down. Toss to the outside. They tackle him for a loss. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Not a good day for the defenses. Welcome back to the action. is the first snap of the final quarter. Tackles made. Third and goal. You don't get in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. This is it, fourth and goal to go. And that's good for only a yard or two. 
Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it. That decision might cost you this football game. Burleson is a receiver in the slot. He'll throw it over the middle. Nice tackle. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Bush is lined up as the single back. Second and four. Throwing now to his left. The tackle was made. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Throws to the right. Has the reception all alone. Advances it out to about the nine. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And he'll try it left. He's brought down. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Second down here. They'll go shotgun here. Has it. Touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. Lions set to kick it. into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Moss is going to get set in the slot for this snap. And he's going to be brought down. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. Time is beginning to run out here midway in the fourth, and he's going down again. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, the blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. RG3 has it under center. Screen play is on. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Kickoff return, 11 yards. Number 21. and 10 and he's forced to the ground and his defensive end Jim he is some talent that time good job makes the move shows the speed and gets around there and gets the sack we reach the two-minute warning Burleson's in the slot looking for an open receiver on the right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Going to take it the distance. The 10. What a
How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The point after is good. The Redskins ready to return the kick. To a halt. <laughs> Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten, challenging the defenders to the right side, and that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight. Man-to-man -man coverage, you against him. Second and ten, trying to work that left side. Griffin hits Santana Moss. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. That long gain sets them up here on this play. RG3 going down the field. What a catch down the middle of the field. Brought to the ground. Well, the stat line is going to be a little deceiving when this game is over. They're getting all these cheap extra yards. The defense is just playing the bend, but don't break defense. You're down the red zone if you score. Well, good for you, but really in the grand scheme, it means nothing. First and goal. He's looking to the right in his hands. Complete touchdown. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here, and so the offense. They call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. Redskins ready for action. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackles made right around the 32 yard line. Matthew Stafford will be under center. First and ten. Looking across the middle, Stafford gets it out to Brandon Pettigrew. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Matthew Stafford looking long. Almost intercepted. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait to the receiver uses his hands and once they go up put your hand in between them and knock that football down what a play and second and ten and complete but he's beyond the first down marker. This quarterback is not going to throw it down the field unless somebody is wide open. That time, nobody's wide open, so he throws it short and gets a few yards. Getting sacked. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback, and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. And this will probably wrap up the game. Long ball to Calvin Johnson. He brings it in. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say...